So what I want to demonstrate here is how to use several bits of uh, useful gear that I carry when I'm uh, canyoning. First of all, a, a bit of gear that I think everyone should consider buying is uh, a tether like this from uh, Petzl. Now there are a couple of cheaper alternatives now, but basically what this is is an adjustable tether with a dynamic piece of rope that allows you to perform all sorts of um, escape maneuvers in addition to its basic function of stopping you falling off the edges of cliffs. So I'm going to use, be using that. I've also got my little sort of um, self-rescue kit which comprises a micro traction and a tib lock with a sling and optionally if you're going to be uh, leading trips and you want to be able to be doing uh, haul systems a, uh, a roll clip is also another handy bit of gear to have. So whilst there's a lot of things you can do with this kit, what I want to demonstrate first of all is how to use this kit as an ascending system. Now everybody should be carrying at least a set of prosics when they're canyoning. This is a really useful skill to be able to get yourself out of all sorts of uh, sticky situations. However, mechanical ascend is a lot more efficient than, uh, than prosthetic knots. So if you've got this sort of gear, it's useful to know some of the techniques you can use to use it to make your life a bit easier. So the basics of it are that we're going to use the micro traction, which is basically a pulley with a mechanical ascender in it as a waste, waste connection or a waste ascender. Now, what's going to happen here is as I go up the rope, the micro traction is going to take my weight. I'm going to be sitting in this, it's going to be taking my weight most of the time. In order to proceed up the rope, I need a rope grab up here, whilst I could use a prosthetic knife, a tib lock, which is a very minimalistic mechanical ascender is quite a lot more efficient and quicker to use. This would just clip onto the rope above. Like that. And I'm going to use a foot loop. In this case I've got a sling, but you could use your uh, long prusik or something like that if you like. Now with this set up here, simple as that, what I'll be able to do is to stand on the tip lock and take in the slack on my micro traction and proceed up the rope. However, there's a couple of other things I'd like to do to this. Whilst the micro traction is quite reliable, it is a single point of connection to the rope. If it were to fail, best case you'd end up hanging by your foot off your tip lock, which is not a good situation. So I can use my adjustable tether here further clip into the rope give myself a backup. Now I'm just going to set this just long enough so it doesn't get in my way but not so long that I can't reach it if I get into trouble. Obviously if I was hanging on this and I couldn't reach it I wouldn't be able to get out of that problem either. So now what this does is it gives me a backup if the micro traction is to fail I'll be suspended off the tib lock off my, uh, my tether here. Now you'll also notice that as you go up, you've got to be continually pulling the tail of the rope through your micro traction. So a further enhancement to this is just to put the rope through the uh, carabiner up here to give me a more natural way of pulling the tail of the rope in as I go up. Now you might also notice that it makes a two to one hauling system. Now this is quite useful for getting over the edges of things. In fact, it's a uh, crevasse rescue technique that when you get up to the top lip, lip of the crevasse, it's very hard to be able to operate your, um, your ascenders properly. So just being able to haul yourself up using a haul system is really handy. Now, because I've got a roll clip, I'm gonna make it even more efficient by clipping the roll clip in here. And now, oops, wrong rope. Try that again. 
again. I'm putting the tail of my rope through the roll clip. So now it makes a, a super efficient two to one hauling system that I can use both to assist in my standing on the two block and also even by itself I can pull myself up without even having to stand in the loop when I get to an edge. So that's pretty much the basics of it. This is quite an efficient process. You'll find you'll be going up ropes, you know, two to three times faster than you would using prusik knots. Obviously, if I was planning to do this a lot, for example, I intended to ascend a cliff or I was trying to get out of a cave, I probably wouldn't use the tib lock. I'd probably go for a mechanical handle descender. But nevertheless, the tib lock is a very lightweight and efficient tool to use um, where you don't necessarily want to carry all the extra gear. Now one thing that is worth mentioning is that sometimes when you are ascending you need to go back to descent again. <clears throat> you need a bit of technique to get out of this system because right now I'm weighted on my micro traction and it's going to be pretty difficult to get out of that without a bit of technique. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my descender into the rope below the micro-traction. Obviously when I come off the micro-traction, I need somewhere to go. So let's get rid of some of this extra gear. We don't need the roll clip. I'm going to be placing my descender in into the rope and I'm going to be performing a hard lock on it. I'll take in you know, most of the slack here not jamming it up too tight and I'm going to hard lock it because what I'm going to be doing is transferring my weight onto this once I get it off off the micro traction now because I've used the uh, Petzl connector just above me myself here what I'm able to do is take my weight off the micro traction and actually hang on the tib lock so what I'll do is I'll pull this in. Now I'm hanging on the tib lock. My micro traction is out of the system, but I do have my descender in as a backup. So let's get rid of the micro traction. Now obviously, if you didn't have the adjustable tether, this is still possible, but it requires a little bit more athleticism. Now because I'm hanging on the uh, the tib lock here, I need to be able to release my tether to be able to transfer my weight to the uh, to the sender. So minimising the amount of slack here, what I need to be able to do is just take a bit of weight off the Petzl connector just, and then that allows it to release, and I can go back onto my descender. That gives me a chance now to just clean this up and then I can transfer back onto my descender and be on my way So I hope that's useful and uh, people find that a good way of um, using some of this extra gear if they have it to make the uh, job of ascending ropes easier.